Hello everybody, good morning. Keith Murray and I are here again on the pier of the New Harbour in Hermanus down in the Western Cape of South Africa. As I said before, this is one of my favourite places and I like to spend time just sitting quietly with my feet over the edge of the pier on this side, sometimes down here. The view over Hermanus is, is simply lovely. But I guess this morning it feels a little like the morning after the night before. The night before being last night. Uh, Cyril Ramaphosa making those dramatic announcements that South Africa is in lockdown and what that is going to involve us in. Uh, it was riveting stuff. And it was interesting just to not only hear the severity of what he was saying, but, but to sense that the country was behind him. Uh, however grim the things may have been that he was saying, it was just lovely to hear a leader finally step up to the plate and say what needed to be said. And I think uh, we all breathed a collective sigh of relief. This at last, we have a leader and a leader worthy of our respect and admiration. But as we know, uh, and we all know, that in the Chinese language, the word crisis is written in two ways. The one meaning danger, and we all know the dangers of these days, and the other, the word opportunity. Now think of what opportunities these days might give to us. They are huge. I'm going to sit down this morning sometime and write down the things that I want to do in the next three weeks. And I hope in three weeks' time I will look and say, right, this was a, a signal moment in my life when I managed to do a whole host of things that I'd set my heart to do, but for whatever reason, I'd never got down to doing. But I want to read a passage of the Bible, which which for me underlines it. And uh, I have this, this brick of a Bible here, and uh, it's from the book of Ecclesiastes in the Old Testament, a well-known passage of the Bible that I have found hugely helpful. Two years ago, my wife died, and I found strange consolation in what I'm about to read. There is a time and a season for everything, and a season for every activity under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to harvest, a time to kill and a time to, to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them a time to embrace and a time to refrain, a time to search and a time to give up, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to chair and a time to mend, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. What does the worker gain from his toil? I have seen the burden that God has laid on men, and he has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the hearts of men, yet they cannot fathom what God has done from beginning to end. I know that there is nothing better for men than to be happy and to do good while they live, that everyone may eat and drink and find satisfaction in all his toil, this is the gift of God. And I look at that and I sense as the description is unfolded of a, a, a pendulum moving backwards and forwards. And it's not all uh, joy and happiness and exuberance. Sometimes there are tough times. The, the pendulum moves. There's a time to be born and a time to die. There's a time to laugh and there's a time to weep and so on and so forth. The pendulum isn't all just good things and happy things. It moves on. And sometimes we go through extremely difficult seasons of our lives. 
But the crucial thing in all this is that it is God who's moving the pendulum backwards and forwards. And the, the King Solomon says, I have seen the burden that God has lain on men. And here's the word that I want you to remember. He has made all things beautiful in its time. Now, as I said, I had a, a tough period of my life two years ago. And I wrote in the margin of my Bible, such is life. And I signed my name, James M. Gray, 20th of January, 2018. And it says here, T's and C's apply. This is me writing in the margin. T's and C's apply. In other words, life is not always a, a, a plain sailing and a bed of roses. It just ain't. That's not how it is. There are tough times and we have to accept such is life. T's and C's apply, and then in the paragraph thereafter, at least in brackets, I say, as long as verse 13 applies. What is verse 13? That God makes all things beautiful in its time. This is the gift of God. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. It's hugely important to remember that this is God's world. And whilst we don't understand everything, we have to trust Him. For He is leading us and guiding us. And things will become plain, not in our time, but in His time. God be with you. We'll chat again tomorrow.